Rob Orgel with Spartan Armor Systems. In this video, we're gonna look at principles of penetration. I like to break this down into four categories. First, we're gonna have caliber. Secondly is proximity. Next is gonna be specialty ammunition. And lastly is advanced techniques like stacking rounds. So going back to the start, caliber. Nine millimeter being a slow traveling round isn't likely to penetrate a whole bunch. But when you start stacking into these higher velocity rounds, you're much more likely to get penetration. So if you look at a 5.56 round, or particularly some of the real fast traveling rounds like 6mm Creedmoor and the advanced newer stuff. Next is going to be proximity. Across distance, that bullet is going to lose speed. So the closer you can be to that body armor, the more likely you are to defeat it. Specialty ammunition is going to include stuff like armor-piercing rounds, armor-piercing incendiary rounds, and hardened core fast projectiles, such as the M855 Steel Core Penetrator and the 545x39 AK-74 round. Lastly is the advanced techniques. These techniques are going to include stacking rounds on top of rounds or finding your way close to the edge of that body armor to defeat it. Utilizing any of these techniques or a combination of these techniques are your best bet at getting penetration. Now when we look at ceramic versus steel plates, the steel plate can take much, much more abuse than the ceramic plate. Because even if you stack rounds on rounds, that steel plate will take that abuse, unlike a ceramic plate which degrades with every single hit. Even multi-hit rated plates, if you stack two or three rounds on top of each other, you'll still get that penetration, as commonly multi-hit doesn't mean in the same spot. So now that we understand bullet penetration against body armor, let's make sure we select the right body armor for our ballistic threat. If you have three alpha, that means you're mostly concerned with pistol caliber threats. That's gonna be nine millimeter, 45, 44 Magnum, all the way up to including the 50 AE we tested the other day. Even at point blank ranges, the Spartan Armor Systems level three alpha stopped those threats. However, if you're worried about rifle threats, you need to move into at least a level three. Level three is going to stop your 5.56, your 308, and others. Even at close quarters, we are able to capture all of those rounds. Now, if you're worried about the M855 steel core penetrator, this is where you need to step into a level three plus. Level four covers a much wider variety of rounds. Now you're going to step into the 300 Winchester Magnum, even the 338 Lapua Magnum. We even tested this on some of the most advanced up-to-date calibers to include the 6mm ARC, the 6mm Creedmoor, and many more. It took a lot to get through that body armor. However, stacking those rounds is going to become a problem again unless you go back to that steel plate. Steel plates can withstand the abuse of multiple stacked rounds far better than the ceramic stuff. The reason is because it's steel, there's no material getting degraded each strike. So the steel armor not only takes the abuse better, but you'll see less back face deformation, which means you'll feel less pain as it spreads that impact across the entire plate. You do need to stay within the capabilities of the three and three plus, or else you need to be looking at that level four ceramic. The level four is rated all the way up to a 30-06 with armor piercing specific ammunition. The level four ceramic is going to be much lighter and in many cases still can take multiple rounds, but probably not in the same place. Steel body armor often gets a bad rap. People are very concerned about secondary bullet fragmentation. Now, if this is a concern of yours, you can check out our encapsule lock or our spall containment sleeve. This will help mitigate the risk of secondary fragmentation. In this video, we looked at ballistic threat protection and selecting the right body armor for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell us what ballistic threat protection you chose and why. For more information, check out SpartanArmorSystems.com. Thank <laughs> you.